shut it down. First and foremost, I like give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakar Kardash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shallow on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Uh, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shallow on to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And so, yeah, shallow on to your uh, Akim out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, May the 5th, 2022. And the uh, title for this quick sit down lesson is going to be for today is uh, Let Not Your Sins Weigh You Down, you know. And this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 74, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Hear, hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days are the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Right, because, you know, we are living in those uh, times of the day of trouble, you know, which is, you know, right before our eyes, when we see these uh, biblical prophecies uh, taking fall, you know, around the world, you know. You know, with the love of many waxing cold out here. Is increasingly and evil spirits you know try to, to attack you try to get the best of you you know that's why you know that's why we uh praise to the heavenly father and be able to to pray and continue to uh till shatan you know which is Satan, spiritual Satan, you know, spiritually and physical Satan as well, too. You know, to, you know, we, we, we rebuke Shatan, which is uh, Satan in the Hebrew, you know. That's why we rebuke him in the name of uh, Yahweh Hashem El Shai, you know. That's why, you know, that's why we can't let our sins, uh, bring us down, you know, that's why we got to uh, constantly, consistently pray, you know, and continue to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is the stability of thy times, you know, with that stable mind, you know, uh, make sure uh, spiritual and physical Satan does not get the best of us to be able to rebuke that evil spirit comes near us, you know, that's why we are uh, constantly, consistently praying to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well, too, and these uh, scriptures are comforting, as always, you know, as continue to learn to be in His truth with the continue of readings, and the, like scripture says, through precepts, I get understanding, you know, so that's why I uh, named this uh, title. Uh, for this quick sit down lesson, you know, uh, you know, don't let our sins wear us down, you know, you know, so be able to constantly and continue, uh, to endure, you know, as a good soldier for, uh, you have a shot, you know, and I'm gonna bring out, a, uh, a verse 75. Uh, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 75, through the Holy Scriptures and the reads, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. Right, because the Heavenly Father uh, is our guide. You know, that's why, you know, we should not be afraid of uh, spiritual Satan and physical Satan as well, too. Because, you know, Satan, he always loves to get busy. For you to be afraid of the things have uh, anxiety attacks and you know being afraid when you out in the public and stuff like that because the, the evil demons and spirits and evil thoughts try to get the best of you you know especially you know you know us men of the Lord you know we be out on the highways and byways you know with the uh, elements 
sense of a uh, spiritual Satan trying to get the best of us. That's why we can't let our sins wear us down, you know. That's why we got to constantly and consistently endure, you know, and rebuke the uh, spiritual uh, Satan, the physical Satan as well, too, because they're trying to get the best of you. Because spiritually, Satan be busy nonstop 24 7, you know. That's why, you know, it's constantly, uh, consistently pray and continue to learn these uh, scriptures, which is important, you know, these holy scriptures, and has that uh, wisdom knowledge of the stability of mind, which is in the book of Isaiah 33 and 6, I roughly paraphrase in that scripture. So, you know, constantly, consistently uh, pray and re rebuke the Satan physical and spiritual Satan as well too you know uh, this is the book of uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 16 verse 76 and it reads to the Holy Scriptures and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts saith the Lord God which is your hallowed thy power let not your sins weight you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves, right? You know, because this the uh, the holy guide of the holy scriptures of the heavenly Father. You know, written in these holy scriptures, because the heavenly Father, heavenly Father, he's our uh, guidance. You know, through our trials and tribulations. You know, that's why. You know. We uh, constantly praise, praise and prayer to him, you know, because they have the father. He's our arm, you know, that's why, you know, that's why we uh, constantly consistently endure as a good soldier for Yahweh Shai, which is the heavenly father's only begotten son. We uh, were and we call JC, which is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew, you know, because the heavenly father is our guide, you know through these holy scriptures, you know. So we could be able to uh, re maneuver the spiritual uh, and physical Satan as well too and rebuke him in the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai constantly and consistently on a daily basis, you know. Because spiritual Satan and physical Satan try to get the best of you, you know. Especially while these uh, uh, elements around you know, around the atmosphere and around the world as well, too, you know. Especially, you know, your surroundings of your everyday life, you know, while you're out in public, because spiritual Satan and physical Satan try to get the best of you. That's why I constantly, consistently pray and read through the Holy Scriptures, because these uh, scriptures are comforting, you know. And with that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding should be the stability of thy times. With that uh, stability of uh, of the mind, you know. Because it's good to have a uh, good, stable, balanced mind, you know. Not thinking negative thoughts or being around or being influenced by negative thoughts and stuff like that. And that's why we rebuke Shatan, which is a... Uh, Satan in the Hebrew, you know, that's why we rebuke Satan, you know, so that's why, uh, you know, we keep the commandments to the best of our ability and follow uh, the Heavenly Father as he be our full guidance, you know, through these holy scriptures, especially in this walk of life and definitely being in his truth. That's why it's important to read, especially including myself, you know, me still being young and it's truth, constantly and consistently endure and rebuke Satan and his evil devices. Like the scripture says, uh, least not seek, let less, let's not Satan get advantage of you because we are not ignorant of his devices, you know, because spiritual and physical Satan try to get the best of you. That's why we buke him in the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shai constantly and consistently, you know, on a day to day basis, you know. That's why, like the scripture says, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. And that's the men of the Lord. 
the remnant, you know, Lord willing, we'll be in that number 144, you know, one third of the remnant fighting for our salvation. And I have that uh, continuing faith that we fully uh, trust in the Heavenly Father. And we fully trust that He have us no matter what the situation is, no matter what we go through. As long as we continue to subscribe strongly and faithfully in this truth of ours, the Wadi Al Bashim El Shai for waking, up, waking us up to this truth, humbleness, meekness, and sincerity. You know, that's why it's important to not let your sins weight you down, you know. That's why uh, these scriptures is comforting through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, 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 Shai, you know. And I'm going to bring out this uh, scripture again for edification's sake for this sit down lesson. Uh, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 76, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, and saith the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves, right? Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities your iniquities lift up themselves, right? Constantly, consistently endure. Keep the commandments. Laws, that's the commandments to the best of our ability. Even though we can't keep 613 laws, but keep the commandments best of our ability. Uh, have that constantly, consistently learning and enduring. You know, have that uh, strong faith, fight for salvation. And Lord willing, we part of that number 144 and part of the remnant, you know, constantly, consistently, and endure. And let not your sins weigh you down or your iniquities as well, too, you know. Try to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Uh, continue to learn, continue to uh, read, you know, like the scripture says uh, in the book of Revelations 1 verse 3, I believe. Uh, Blessed he that readeth, you know, so. It's good to read and constantly read and learn, you know, and the precepts as well, too. That's why we learn uh, precepts uh, from the elders, the elders, apostles, of great millstone, and the Wadi Yaw by Shemel Shai, uh, setting up good men like them that have been in truth for 30 plus years. Constantly and consistently learn from them and learn from the elders and the deacons and the bishops and the occumented brotherhood, you know, with the precepts and the readings, you know, and the understanding of words, you know, constantly and consistently learn from them. The Wadi Yaw Bashimel Shaft for setting up good men like them, the men of Great Millstone, definitely for sure, you know. So, yeah, you know, uh, uh, that's all I had to say for this uh, sit down lesson on this uh, May the 5th, 2022 at 140 a.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Thursday morning in the a.m. So, you know, um, like I mentioned before, uh, the title of this uh, introduction of the sit down lesson is, you know, let not your sins weigh you down, you know, constantly, consistently endure rebuke Satan rebuke Satan in the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well too constantly consistently endure as a good soldier for Hamashiach Yahweh which is the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son's name uh, which is ignorant called JC which is Yahweh in the Paleo Hebrew keeping the law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability constantly consistently endure uh, continue to read, learn, and through, pre through precepts I get understanding, you know, constantly, consistently endure and rebuke Satan, you know, in the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, El Shai, Ba'ashem, Barakar Kadash, you know, so with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, 
and scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out and a ball, ball, ball.